Yo, yeah, what's happening everybody? King GBL here and welcome back to our new Gavet Lake video. Today we're going to be showcasing some fun battles sent into the channel by Coco. Thank you very much, Coco. If you guys want to send in your own battles, link in the description down below. And listen here, folks, we have a serious announcement. This is serious. Turn off the music. Turn off the music. If you are a subscriber of this channel, tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow is the biggest day of all. We are going to battle. We are going to war versus Jamie Finn subscribers. That is right. We are going to be facing off against his subscribers tomorrow live on stream and we're going to win we're going to win ladies and gents we've been rehearsing pv poke we've been in the discord practice battles rehearsing pv poke we know pv poke better than pv poke knows pv poke tomorrow we take victory tomorrow we take victory against jamie finn subscribers do you know where jamie finn is right now do you know where he is he's on a stag do yeah that's right that's right he's on a stag do right now he's probably hung over He's not even taking it seriously. He's not even taking it seriously, folks. Tomorrow we are having the epic battles and the King's army needs you. That is right, you. It doesn't matter if you're 2,000 ELO. It doesn't matter if you're 3,000 ELO. Tomorrow we unite. Doesn't matter. Let's leave the ELOs behind and fight together for this one common cause to take down Jimmy Finn's subscribers, ladies and gents. Join the Discord. Join the King's army in the description down below and let's take down Jimmy Finn tomorrow. But right now, we have one of our elite warriors on the battlefield, taking wins with Gyarados, taking wins with Gengar. Ladies and gents, Coco is just out here taking the dubs with Gengar. He doesn't care, he's showing disrespect to the opponents. Gengar does insane damage in the Ultra League. That's right, that's right, I just said the title in the video. I just said the title. Gengar does insane damage, and that's what we're going to check out here first. Uh, but all joking aside here, it's going to be a ton of fun tomorrow. Uh, feel free to tune in, and of course, if you want to... I actually do need a couple more players, probably, of like a more higher elo range. And um, we're pretty, like, basically it's going to be matched, like, 2,000 Elo versus 2,000, Legend versus Legend, and so on. And um, we do have, like, one or two more spots open for Legend players, or, like, close to that sort of range. Um, so if you do want to face off and play, like, a more sort of fun Great League meta tomorrow, uh, we'll do, like, Best of Freeze, and, yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, so anyway, thank you very much, Coco, for sending in these uh, these battles here, and let's hop into it. Alright, so what, what is actually going on here? So we've got uh, Aromatizzy here. Aromatize, Aromatize, Aromatis, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to get the Stone Edge, and we're going to get both shields off the opponent, which is nice here. Um, so I'm assuming, yeah, you come in with Gengar at this point. This might just be like a Moonblast or something, which you do resist, but Gengar does not resist anything. <laughs> it says resisted, but not very effective. Look at these not very effective charms going through. Absolutely chunking this boyo. But this boyo chunks back. This boyo chunks back. And in comes the Guzzlord. He's trying to guzzle up the Gengar, but we're not going to let it happen. In comes... Okay, I've just got into this commentary cell. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should, that should just be my commentary cell. We take out the Chandler. That, that's just maybe my new cell, honestly. I, I enjoyed that way too much. And in comes the Guzzlord. He's going to fire off the move. We shield it up, ladies and gents. We shield it up. We're going to farm him down, but we're going to fire the Aquatail first. Ladies and gents, Guzzlord is getting guzzled. And, um, we take the second match, or third match, whatever this is. <laughs> um, so GG's the opponent there. Uh, Coco did sort of want some, like, feedback and stuff in the gameplay as well. Um, so we'll, we'll try our best, you know, I'm a bot at this game myself here. Uh, Bardock's dad's coming through, and we're gonna come through with, uh, Gyarados versus Pelipper. So it takes them nine, I believe, to get to the Hurricane, and it doesn't even look like they're fully powered up. Um, I think at this stage, Coco, you do just, you know, if you're in, like, this sort of early stage, right, you know, they're not threatening you with the move yet or anything. Um, you just farm up to the crunch and threaten the shield off them. Because the Aquatail, like, even though, like, technically, like, they should be 2,200 like, CP or something. Um, and, uh, and Aquatail's not going to do that much. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's definitely a very winning matchup for Gyarados. So, like, I don't think you really need to swap out. And I think you just kind of maybe try to force them to swap out and, like, RPS the opponent. They come in with their own Cabalion here. Um, so this is actually kind of working out okay. You do want to get this out on the field. You can deal with it with Gengar, but um, this should be absolutely fine here. You might want to... Okay, maybe you can live a Secret Sword and get off another one. I actually haven't used this Pokemon yet, unfortunately. I am working on it. I am just trying to gather up some rare candy. I think I need another, like, 50 candy for it. Um, so you're swapping into Gengar here, which I like a lot. Um, this could be the Stone Edge. So you do have to respect it. The opponent goes for Stone Edge, or the Secret Sword. Is, is this enough for another one? Yeah, so this is another Secret Sword. I don't know what the opponent's doing here. Um, they should at least, like, shields are down at this point, you're switch locked, <laughs> they should go for the Stone Edge. You do Shadow Ball them out, or at the very least, if, if they don't think they're going to get to it, um, you know, swap out into Obama Snow straight away. That way the Gengar's not going to get off a Shadow Ball, which is pretty much going to one-shot this thing. <laughs> Good night. And, um, yeah, so definitely, like, you played quite well there, the opponent was definitely a little bit slow on things. Um, so I'm definitely seeing some improvement from Coco here, like, we've done some practice battles, and, um, everybody in the Discord, you know, I was sort of joking about that at the start, but we do actually genuinely do. Uh, a lot of battles in Discord, uh, just kind of messing around and having fun. 
And um, you can definitely tell like the results of it here for Coco because he's making uh, a lot of correct plays here. Just a little bit like bad on timing and stuff sometimes. So like just try to be, uh, even I'm not very disciplined with throwing in timing at times, but I think that would just help you just get that extra little gear and you know push you up a little bit more. Um, listen, the Snorlax using Earthquake, by the way, um, which actually, I'm, I'm actually a pretty big fan of that. Um, I don't think I've ever run into that personally, or if I have, it's been quite some time since I've seen that, but, um, Earthquake, Snorlax for the win. Very positive matchup against Shadow Swampert, but you're going to see these Hydro Cannons add up. Um, like, free Hydros will take out Gyarados, so you're going to have to shield this at some point, um, if they decide to go for shields as well. Um, so yeah, like, Gar like oh, uh, sorry, Swampert makes this matchup very awkward. Um, with these hydros and in comes Giratina. Um, you come in with Gengar straight away here almost. Um, I think at this point they will reach okay, they go straight for the Shadow Sneak as well. Um, I think they will reach another one here as well. So you probably just want to go for the back to back. Um, you're not really going to get both of them off here. Yeah, so you do go for the over farm here. You just try to get the damage off. Um, at that point, it puts you into a range where um, you can just farm a time with Gyarados. That Shadow Sneak would have been very close to taking out. And at this point, you would have already had the crunch loaded for the Swampert, um, which would get this very close. The opponent's not throwing their Hydro. Bro, what is going on here? The opponent did not throw their Hydro. We're getting off the Aqua Tail. Does this take out? It's quite... Bro, they're still not throwing the Hydro. Ladies and gents, Coco takes him out. The opponent is just absolutely committing to the Earthquake here. And yet, that's not a good game. I think a Hydro would have took out. It would have been pretty close, but I think it definitely would have took out from the Shadow Swampert. It probably doesn't have good IVs either. Um, and in comes Obstagon. So you don't really want this on your Gengar, obviously. You don't want it on your... Well, Cabalion's fine. Um, but I think in general, if you get an Obstagon lead with this team, you probably just try to deal with it. You do go into your hard swap here. Um, well, sorry, was that a, an Obstruct there for him? Um, oh no, sorry, it was just the, the Night Slash. You go for a Cross Chop. Um, we're going to go ahead and fire off this. Um, just for best timing, throw after one here. Um, especially because the opponent's like, normally they should be going for a catch. Um, so for a free turn move, you throw after one and three and five. So with the obstacle, the way you have to look at it is, if you throw three, that's nine turns. It takes them five turns to get to each of their moves. So you can safely throw three at any time. If they've just threw their move on, on five, you can safely throw three at any time and they won't get to the move. And uh, you can actually throw your move in the middle of their move as well, um, which means they can't catch it. So it works out pretty nicely. Dragon Claw coming through, in comes Walrian. Um, this Shadow Ball is going to do a lot of damage. We'll see what the opponent does here. So it was very funny that the opponent was staying in there, of course, with Obstagon. Um, so at that point, I might have considered shielding a cross chop. Um, just to try to sort of just RPS their whole team with Cabalion. Cabalion is such a strong one. If you guys do have an opportunity to build it, I'm just kind of working on mine. Because uh, at the time, uh, whenever Cabalion and Verzium were in raids, um, I just didn't really have that much interest in playing at that time. And I think I raided them once each and got uh, just basically like one secret sword, uh, Verizian and Cavalian, and didn't build it. So here I am like, you know, trying to do trades now and trying to um, get rare candies and stuff for it. Which of course is never the greatest, but eventually I will have Cavalian. <laughs> it's not going to be an amazing IV one, but it'll definitely do the trick. Uh, in comes Charizard, very good lead for you. And we'll see what the opponent does. They do stay in here for a minute, might be uh, trying to catch the Aqua Tail. Okay, so they stay in here, you probably just throw that Aqua Tail a little bit sooner to not let them get to this Blast Burn, because as you can see, um, okay, that was a CMP tie actually. So you're going to force a shield off them, um, which is good at least. Uh, I, you don't swap out there, by the way. Um, you can go for the Shadow Punch. I'm not sure if this will quite take out, and I think it was on CMP uh, to the Dragon Claw. The Dragon Claw, like, you can live it for sure, um, but it will put a decent little chunk into Gengar. Um, at this point, like, I would probably just maintain the shield advantage, though, because they can come in with a lot of things that just completely wreck this Pokemon. But if they come in with, like, a Pidgeot, um, not only are you down a shield, but you're going to be down, um, just a ton of energy as well. They'll just farm you the whole way down, because, uh, of course, Gengar only knows ghost moves. I think you can teach it Sludge Bomb, or does it even know Focus Blast or something crazy like that? I would probably go for that, honestly, if I was using it, but in general with shielding, the thing that I'm trying to be more cognizant of um, is like in the early game and mid game where you're not at the risk of being like completely wiped out by the opponent's Pokemon. Um, if you can survive a move like comfortably enough, or if you can survive it in general, um, oftentimes it's better to let it go because they might go for a bait. And if you know that you can live the move that they, 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 you know, they only have a Dragon Claw there. So if you can live that, you just uh, try to live it. And in general, you do try to save shields for Gengar. Like shielding Gengar is you know correct, but. You want your Gengar to be coming into something instead of something coming into your Gengar um, more often than not. So I think that was just kind of the, the key there. 
Um, but it worked out well, fine in the, in the end, of course. We were able to take out the Giratina with Cabalion and um, Gyarados, and that's a GG. So, uh, what do we have? We have another uh, Swampert lead, very good lead. Um, the opponent will most likely swap out here, but they stay in for a minute. And again, like if these Swamperts are staying in, it makes you think that they're a little bit weak to it. At the same time, though, they can just sit here and spam off Hydro Cannons, and they may not be weak to it at all, or, you know, they, they definitely don't have two answers to Gyarados, put it that way. Otherwise, they definitely would have swapped out. So, you know, at this point, um, you can consider shielding if you want, but I think the opponent, you know, cause, especially because the opponent uh, invested a shield as well, you could match shields and think, like, okay, if they're staying in here, Gyarados has to be good. And uh, this Hydro will take out. So, like, you can either take Switch or take Shield. Um, you do take Shield, which is, it makes sense, of course, when you're using uh, these two Pokemon. In general, like, as long as it's not, literally, as long as it's not a normal type, a Shield Advantage with Gengar would more often than not win you the game. Um, I would say. Again, if it probably does get close, because again, like, um, this Pokemon is super classy, but if you're going to play this Pokemon, that's just how you have to play it. Um, that Stone Age would have taken out, and the opponent's in just a bad spot here. Um, you can get to another Stone Age comfortably. They go straight for the Blast Burn there as well, which is beautiful. And they go for catching Giratina. Um, you come in with Gengar, and they're already, like, at a Shadow Sneak. They go for Ancient Power, so you've just won this match, basically, at this point. They get the Defense Rise, so are they going to live the Shadow Ball? <laughs> this will be interesting. This ordinarily would do just uh, an unbelievable amount of damage. They still somehow survive that. They're going to get off a Dragon Claw or whatever, but it should not take out. Oh, that, oh, that done a lot. And you get the Simul KO, and you've got the Stone Edge loaded for the Charizard. So that couldn't have, honestly, that couldn't have worked out any better. Um, the opponent didn't get a chance to farm down the Gengar. Um, at that point, one little consideration for the opponent, if they were, like, thinking a little bit more technically, is to try and let your Gengar take them out and come in and get the farm down. And then try to get off the Blast Burn, but um, you had the, yeah, like, there was no way they were winning that. Um, Gyarados into Obstagoon. Again, you don't want to really see this on your, your Gengar on the back. Um, so you just stay in here, basically. This should be a winning matchup for Gyarados. I haven't looked it up, but it has to be a winning match. I don't see any way that Obstagoon somehow flips this matchup. You've got a lot more fast move pressure, and they're going for Obstruct. Um, so you do swap out. So I, that is understandable, because Obstruct is just such an annoying move. If they start debuffing you and uh, buffing their own defense, it just gets really awkward. So it's understandable coming into your hard counter, um, but you definitely need to get that realigned with your your uh, Pokemon later on. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and take out Swampert here most likely. This could be an EQ. Okay, so this is actually fine. You come in and just get the farm down with Gyarados, and you've got a 2-1 to one shield advantage here. Can you get the full farm down? This is a Hydro, so you're absolutely fine to eat this. Um, but this is kind of what you need at this point. And they'll either come in with their back Pokemon or Obstagoon. In comes Obstagoon. And at this point, uh, you go for an Aqua Tail. I think, you know, you have to take this out at all costs here. This is like the, the core breaker for your, your Gengar in the back. Um, this could just be an Obstruct, but even at this point, you just have to shield it. What if it is a Night Slash? They get the Defense Fall and the Defense Rise, which is super annoying. I think it's one stage up, one stage down, which is kind of a broken move in a way. Um, okay, this is another one. Like, I, even at this point, I would even shield this with this, uh, with Gengar in the back, because these Shadow Claws are going to do minus one damage. You're giving this thing health at this point. Um, I think you have to commit to the Shadow Ball as well, just for the harder hitting move. Um, this is definitely just looking really rough. I think they're like, when you have two shields, like you, you use your two shields to either protect Gengar against a move, or protect Gengar from something. That's what you have to use them for. So if there's a Pokemon here like Obstagoon, the opponent's lagging out here, which is great. Um, if there's a, a Pokemon like Obstagoon, which would just run for your Gengar with no reply, um, you use your shields on the Pokemon trying to take out the counter to Gengar, as opposed to saving them with Gengar, if that makes sense, because if Gengar gets onto this match, it's just over. <laughs> Lucky enough, the opponent was lagging out, and we'll see what they have in the back. So it is a Charizard. Um, we're going to just basically build up to the back-to-back -back here. I think one Shadow Ball takes this out, and that's going to be a good game. So, yeah, definitely, like, that would be a little bit rough if the opponent didn't lag out there, because those Shadow Punches were doing nothing, and... The opponent can continue spamming off um, Obstructs or go for Night Slash. Um, they got the attack boost and everything. That was just like worst case scenario there possible. I feel like with the defense drops and the um, attack boost, they could probably just counter for a Reggie at that point. <laughs> like it was just looking crazy. Um, so in comes the next one and we've got a Gyarados into Melmetal. A very, very rough one for you. You're probably going to have to swap straight out. Again, you're swapping into Cabalion here, which is good. Um, even though that's your hard answer, like Gengar can deal with it. So I much prefer this. You never go into your hard answer, or, or you, in general, you just never go into Gengar. It's literally like almost like no matter what comes in, you come in with Cabalion. Even if it's Walrein or something, you just can't swap into Gengar. 
Um, so, yep, this is working out really well. I'm not sure what the opponent's doing with Gyarados here. They go for the Hydro Pump. They go for the Hydro Pump. And uh, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. To so come in with your own Gyarados here. Uh, try to get off the crunch first. Hopefully no debuff on this crunch. Uh, are they running Aqua Tail Hydro Pump or just Crunch? Yeah, Crunch hy uh, Hydro Pump. Um, so they don't have the community die move. You definitely, in general, do want Aqua Tail and Gyarados. Um, but it's just up to yourself whether you want to invest the Elite TM. And in comes Mill Metal. Um, what I maybe would have considered doing there is force the opponent to throw on Gyarados and then come in. Um, they come in with a Swampert here. And this is going to be a little bit rough with no shields. This is looking tough. The Hydro almost takes you out. Um, the Shadow Ball might just about get it into Farm Dome range, but this could be another Simul KO here at this point. They just about take you out. And yeah, I think the best play here is to go for the top left. That Mel Metal was a tough one. I mean, what could you really do there? Like, you could probably eat one Rock Slide and maybe hope to try and get off two Crunches and then, like, farm it down with Cobalion. Um, but then it's no superpower, so, like, it can be very awkward to deal with. Um, I think you had to try and deal with it somehow, though. Um, in comes Swampert here. And again, a very positive lead for you. Um, we have to be a little bit careful if you want to take Switch. But again, with this team, we're looking to take Shields more than Switch. Um, I think I might give Gyarados a try. It's a Pokemon I was using quite a while ago in like practice games and everything. And it was a Pokemon that was doing quite well. As long as you don't get a Steel type on it, um, which of course we, we did last game. Um, it can be very, very good with the Dragon Breaths. And of course, it'll take out opposing Dragon types and everything. Um, of course, only being a, a Water Flying type. They catch on the Wall Rain. But they're going to catch a Cobalion on the wall range, so this is not really going to be great for them. Uh, one Secret Sword coming through. And is this even enough for the Earthquake here? Yeah, so you're letting this go. I think that was only 7 maybe. It takes them 9 to get to the Earthquake. And at this point, you could go for a little bit of an overform here. Um, just to leave yourself energy on the other side to make it more comfortable. Um, you're, gonna get, you're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, see, like, you could have had the Secret Sword loaded already. I think they were just uh, reaching the move. They got the one turn lag swap in there. And in comes Charizard. So the opponent top left, sir. So <laughs> they're not shielding anything. They're saving it for next game. You know, here's the thing. The opponent decided to go down with the ship. But they went down with two shields and that is a win for the opponent there. Um, Axie comes in. You love to see it. Thank you very much, Coco, for the battles. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to tune in tomorrow for the sub battles. Thank you everybody for the support in the videos. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys next time.